last few months have been more intense than the lead up to my collection. I feel massively overwhelmed, under supported and just a bit fed up, like things aren't ever going to get better. I feel so stretched between home and Teddy and being a wife and then HDEC. <sighs> This isn't working anymore. I can't continue doing this. Something needs to change. And this is the moment that I voiced that out loud to myself. Prior to this, I'm aware that I had that realization, but I kept pushing through, trying to make it work. And that was coming at a great, like a huge detrimental cost to me, myself, my family. And I sat and I recorded this. And so now I'm going to share it with you. This is future me. And I'm just letting you know that this footage you're about to watch was recorded in November. And I'm not there right now. But it's really important that I share it so you can see what was, le what was going on that led up to the pause, the break that I'm currently in. November the 11th it's Albie's birthday happy birthday Albie um just sat and had a massive cry because and then I've gone into Instagram and seen a really amazing message and so that's like I feel like my moods are like this at the moment and some, I just would like to be able to step aside from HDDC and it not massively in it's just a roller coaster of business I guess um on the one hand I feel massively overwhelmed under supported and just a bit fed up like things aren't ever going to get better even though I know they will logically it just doesn't feel like it and then on the other hand, I'm really excited about opportunities coming my way and the things that I'm just, I feel so stretched between home and Teddy and being a wife and then HDDC. So stretched. The last few months have been more intense than the lead up to my collection. Oh. In like two and a half months, we've had three, maybe four out of hours doctor visits with Teddy. One of them via ambulance, two allergic reactions. We're on the second lot of antibiotics. Oh. I'm just so tired. And on top of that, we've had like a big kick to our budget because Brad's car broke, my car's out off the road. Uh, and I, I'm just... We've had to pay out on some items that we didn't have a budget for and it's just it all just feels a lot right now. So, oh dear. it would help if I had some pads and sales and had a bit of my own money. I have my, I have my pattern collection update next week. So that's going to help because there'll be money coming in. But then also I've got so much work to do to get that done. <laughs> oh. And like people keep saying just rest when Teddy Red rests and get some sleep and prioritise all that. That's fine, but <laughs> when do you get everything else done? <sighs> I 
at the moment in order to get work done I'm sacrificing family time which is not what I wanted to do however there's there's always trade-offs like I keep there's only so much I can do in the day when I'm with Teddy <sighs> And it's just, it's such a... <sighs> it's so tough. <sighs> so tough. I'm just trying to walk that line between. I'm so excited for things and at the same time I'm just I also have like a dread because I know that I've got to do the work <laughs> and I I just want everyone to go away and leave me alone <laughs> oh, it's just constant isn't it like I don't even know what to say. I've got some time to myself now, so. Let's get some things done and then I can. <laughs> I just don't know what to say, to be honest. Like. I think the worst part of it is I just feel stuck and that's not a nice place to be in and that's then making my mind not a nice place to be because rather than thinking oh this is a season and it's going to get better it just feels never ending like it's not going to get better <sighs> like there is no one to step in and help there is no one that can give me that time it's winter season so arguably Teddy's just gonna keep getting ill. Like when does it when does it get better? When does it get easier? <laughs> and I'm frustrated as well, like really frustrated at the moment because if I had like a formal employment and set hours, then those around me would have to step in and help me and give me that time, but because HDDC is so flexible I don't get that time and then me trying to in enforce it and being like no this is the time I work I'm so frustrated with everything at the moment I just don't know what to do. None of it. I don't know what to say to you, to be honest. Like, I don't really talk to people about any of it because I feel like then people come at you with advice when I'm not, I'm not looking for advice. Like, I have sat and thought that my way through every scenario and every possible solution, like, And with love, if you don't know my circumstances and you don't know my family, so how can you be giving me advice? And it then just feels like a criticism then of like, oh, well, you should do this. Yeah, sure. Like, I haven't thought of that. I just feel... So squeezed and so overstretched at the moment. 
I also then just feel like resentful because if people do come to take Teddy then they go and do nice things with him and then I'm still home doing all of the crap like the cooking, the cleaning none of that fills me up you know I hate it when people say I'll give you a break so you can have a shower like when did me having a shower become a break had to stop recording so I could just I'm scared I'm tired and I want somebody to just cuddle me up and say it's all gonna be okay and just make me some food and a drink and tend to my ever need ever ever every need and baby me <laughs> I just want to be looked after and feel super loved and cared for and valued oh. Whew. on the other side there's some really good things coming through I've offered to in effect be a crochet ghost writer for another designer to write their patterns up for them and um get it all set up like on Ravelry so kind of like VA slash almost mentor like it's like a, a role that I'm creating it's a way I can see that I can help um and I'm really excited for that and then I just have this little voice in the back of my head like are you crazy you're not even doing your own stuff but then I'm like that'll be another inc a revenue stream and maybe it's an issue with enforcing my boundaries but if I say to those around me look I have the deadline that I have to make it it's beyond me then people take that seriously but when I say it's my own deadline I feel like they're just like oh well you can get it done you can get it done in that magical time when you find like a time turner or something that pauses time. Um, my mind is like, okay, so do I create packages? Do like this is my first time? What do I need to put in place to protect the designer? What do I need to put in place to protect me? What can I offer to really um, serve that designer? Like, how can I make this a really wonderful, enjoyable experience for them? The bit that I'm most excited about is that. Not only am I going to be able to help another designer, I'm going to potentially have access to analytics of another designer. I can see what works well for them. I get to make all of these connections, but also that I potentially will have a percentage of sales. And that means that I'm not having to think about putting out my own patterns. I'm going to have other income. And that's... That takes a lot off my plate, you know? Like, it just takes a lot off. So that's exciting me um, and I always wanted to step into like the coach support service type side so imagine if I had two or three designers that I crochet ghost rip root imagine if I had two or three designers that I did the ghost writing for and that I had a percentage via them as well like that would really help me out that would take the pressure off me of being like I have to work because I need this money and because that is just such a, that place of desperation feels horrible the other things that I'm excited about is Hobby have got some new yarn coming out and they emailed me to see if I wanted to be a part of that yeah okay I don't need more yarn right now but also I can use more yarn right now um and the other things I'm excited about is I've had a revenue idea for 2024 um, and it's not so much about me adding another it's about using what I already have and making that into an income stream as well like my big focus for me is having monthly income because then I don't have to hustle each month and I don't want to find myself in this desperation spot of where I'm like, right, I've got to do all these things because I need to get the work done and I need the money. I, I want to be able to operate from a place of my needs are met. 
I am being supported, I am safe, I am secure and everything that I put out there now is to is as a benefit and a bonus rather than urgency and worry. I don't want to find myself in this place this time next year, like no. No 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 no. Oh, so exhausted. And please, please, please do not comment below and say you need to go rest because yes, I do need to go rest, but then I can't rest because I know that I've got all of this stuff waiting for me and it's like squeezing at me and I feel a bit sick with it all now. I just want to get a lot of stuff done so that when I do next get to lie down, my brain won't be like, what about this, 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 this. goodness me i'm worrying whilst recording this i genuinely did not and could not see a way through i had no plan i didn't know what changes to make i didn't know how to help myself i did i just was so so stuck and i'm really really happy to say that that's not me now but since recording this and a few others very similar to this and since taking the pause the break that I'm currently on, I have made so many changes and put so many different things into place. I want to thank you for the previous video that I put up, everyone that watched it, the video called The Pause. I spoke about needing a break and so many of you commented with words of encouragement and support. So many of you commended me for making this choice and there was even comments of you sound happier now. And truly, I am happier now. But I did need to go through this and I wanted to share this with you so that you could understand in part why I've made the choices that I've made. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on this story. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.